Hey everybody, before I start this next video, I want to make sure I give a shout out to uh, Heartland Dual Sports and HeartlandLeatherworks.com. Uh, that is Dale and Angie. And apparently they had watched one of my videos with the KLR and I had mentioned uh, how the bike leans over and the kickstand is too short. And they sent me this cool puck right here to put underneath the kickstand so that the bike does not lean over too far or sink into the soft ground. But the problem is that thing thing's too freaking nice. Like I'm not, I know it's just a chunk of wood with a piece of leather on it, but Dale and Angie, like, I'm not freaking throwing that thing down in the dirt under my kickstand. I'm going to keep that sitting on the desk or sticking on the wall somewhere, somewhere that looks nice. So that is awesome, though. I appreciate you sending that out and getting that to me. Uh, I just, like I said, I don't have the heart to put the kickstand on top of it. But uh, I may, but I don't think I'm going to. I'll probably let it sit on the desk. It's just cool to look at and have it sitting on the desk like that. So uh, I really appreciate uh, you guys sending that to me. That's awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the uh, video of my phone mount comparison between the X-Grip and the Quad Lock. So check it out. All right, today I'm going to do a quick video showing a little comparison between the RAM mount X-Grip phone mount and the quad lock. <clears throat> I have them both here on the KLR650. They're both mounted up. I'm going to show you what they look like, kind of go over the pricing and give you a little overview here. See here we have the quad lock. Now on the quad lock, I have this kind of setup. Uh, I did a little customization of a RAM ball mount on the back of my quad lock mount here when you buy the quad lock system you will get a bar clamp kind of like a clamshell type thing that will clamp around your bar uh, you'll have your phone clip here and you want to buy this anti-vibe mount you you got to get this i ran this without the anti-vibe mount uh, now this is on a klr 650 i ran it on this bar up here without the anti-vibe mount and one 10 minute long ride, the vibration blew out the camera on my iPhone and I had to get a new phone. So keep that in mind. So this setup is definitely different than mine. Uh, when you get this phone clip, now you also, of course, you have to buy their phone case. I'll show you the back of it here. This is the case that is on the phone right there. And you can see the four locking areas there uh it just basically you line it up with these four you put your phone like that give it a twist and you're on then you press this and twist your phone off so to get this with your clip your phone case the clamp for your bar and the anti-vibe I'm not, I can't remember if it was free shipping, but it's like $99.99 for this setup. <clears throat> uh, you'll be ready to clamp it on your bike and go. Now, uh, I just have an old phone case in here in the X-Grip. This is an iPhone 12 phone case. Now, you can see they have this rubber band, which I will show you, like a spider-type rubber band that goes over four corners. Uh, I'm going to pop that off right now. Take that off. Now, I'll show you, of course, the X grip. Just drop the phone. Now, there's your X grip right there. Okay. Hey. That is an English setter puppy right there trying to get my phone case. A real pain in the tuchus. Now, one thing you have to watch on an iPhone 12, you have your button right here on the side to turn the screen phone on and off. <clears throat> of course, your volume type buttons here. When you put the phone in, this X grip, see if I can get it in here. When you put it in, 
you have to be careful that you don't put it on any of your buttons. So you want to make sure when you put the phone in that this one here was actually on that volume button. So you want to adjust it and make sure you're not pressing permanently on any of your buttons. Uh, <clears throat> and you can see this does actually, if you don't use the spider grip, which I usually do not use, this will move back and forth a little bit. Uh, and of course you can loosen the, the ball mount uh, on this. Now, to purchase everything for this, you can also buy this X grip. It will come in a little kit. It will have the clamshell clamp. You'll have the X grip phone holder. And I believe it's $57 and some odd change. Now, the way I have it set up, uh, <clears throat> I this is just on my mirror ball mount right now for my double take. But you would need one of these, uh, which they are... $18, you would have this, depending on what length, you would need one of these arm clamps here. Depending on what length, they're $15 or $25. So you would have that, and you would also have your extra. Okay. I'll pop this out of here <clears throat> again. You can see there, X grip. Here is that rubber band type thing that I was showing you right here. Now, I I have never used this. I just always clamp it in here and I have never had a phone fall out of this whether I'm off-road riding or on-road or off and on both. I've never had a phone come out of there not using this and also I have never had an iPhone get ruined on this. This mount here I've used for several years. Uh, the quad lock I've only had on for about three months. This phone mount has never given me any issues, never ruined a phone. I have never lost a phone, uh, no matter what I did, and that's some hard riding too. Uh, so, of course, like I said, this setup, you have the, you would get the clamp. You got the arm clamp here, long or short, and then, of course, the X mount. Now, if you buy everything separate like this, uh, you're going to be about... $64. If you buy the one with the clamshell clamp and everything together as one little kit, that runs $58. Uh, which one do I prefer? I actually keep the quad lock on my bike now. I mean, I'm running the case. I like the way it clips on very quickly. You can clip the phone on quick this way, horizontal, vertical, whichever way you want to go. Uh, I mean, I have, there's no, nothing, I would still be using this mount. Uh, they're, they're both, in my opinion, as good as each other. The one negative about this is you have to buy the anti-vibe because <clears throat> it will definitely ruin your phone. I can attest to that. You do not want to do it without the anti-vibe. Now, I have never mounted this back up on this rail to test it because I'm too nervous. I don't want to blow my phone out again, but as far as on the handlebar, everything is fine. I've used it several times. Probably There's probably four hours of use, four to five hours of use total on this bar mount type the way I have it. Uh, no issues with that. No more phones ruined. And like I said, they're that you, you're into $100 buying that kit to put it on your bike. That gives you the phone case. But the good thing about the RAM mount is you're only 58 to 64. Alright, few interruptions on this one. Just going to finish it up there. English setter. Going to the bathroom outside. Good boy. Okay. So there you have it for both mounts. Both equally perform just as well, in my opinion. It's just the fact that the quad lock is a little more expensive. Uh, this one does just as well, though. I've used it for years. Love it. We'll still use it if I need it, uh, or keep it on one bike while I have the quad lock on the other. Remember to like, subscribe, throw your phone on your bike, and get outside. See you, everybody.